So the Adidas Pod S 3.1 is the latest sneaker model with boost from Adidas, but is it worth your $130 or not? Let's go ahead and discuss. What's going on guys, Has here at CollectiveKicks.com. If you guys wanna shop this week's top sneaker deals, check the link in the description, as well as if you guys actually wanna buy the Pod S 3.1. Let's go ahead and get into this video and give you guys my first thoughts on the new model. First things first, you can see the box. It is the POD-S3.1. So POD stands for point of deflection. I don't know what the S3.1 stands for. Maybe it took them that many iterations before they actually ended up with a pair of sneakers that they wanted to release. Regardless, it is a very interesting looking new model and you can see it has a massive boost section on the back of the shoe. And then you have this crazy yellow plate that I believe is the point of deflection. It's sort of like a bridge between the forefoot and the heel of the shoe. In the front cushioning of the shoe, you have a high rebound EVA forefoot foam. It's sort of like bounce, but it feels a little bit softer in my opinion. Uh, honestly, I don't know why they didn't just go with Boost through the entire thing, but price point is again around $130. Um, and this is the first colorway that they ended up releasing. And I have to say first impressions on feet were really good, better than I expected. I thought, well, it only has Boost on the back, like what's the point? So it also has this weird setup where there's a big section missing out of the middle of the shoe and an even bigger section right there. But honestly, when I put these on feet, you don't notice the gap here or anything because it sort of is kind of like a bridge on your foot and it feels really good and it's really comfortable on feet. I also really like the upper material. It is just a mesh material, but it's soft and it is a bit stretchy. So I like that they added some of that in. It's stretchier than the regular NMD uh, mesh material in my opinion. And all in all, I think that this shoe is more comfortable than like an NMD. Could be a replacement for an NMD possibly, but it is only partial boost for those boost heads like myself out there. The traction of the shoe is really good too. You can see you actually have a really thick rubber, which is a nice uh, feature. And the rubber actually comes up on the side of the shoe. So I feel like this is gonna be a really durable shoe because of the thickness of that rubber. Because of that though, the shoes weigh 11.2 ounces and this is a men's 9.5 US. So 11.2 ounces is a little bit heavier. That's almost like an ultra boost heavy, uh, but, um, but it's not really crazy noticeable on your feet. It's just nothing super light like Nike React. You also have some Hyperfuse three-stripe branding across uh, the shoe on that side, not on this side, but you do see some branding that does say PODS 3.1 here. And then you also have that same branding right here on this interesting little addition to the shoe, which is actually an elastic band. You can't see it on this side. You can see it on this side though. And it's just an elastic band to keep your foot locked down. I think it was a really smart move. It's loose enough that you can get your shoe on. It's snug enough that you can have some lockdown without tightening up the laces too much. So it adds a lot of extra stability feel to the shoe, which all in all, I really dig. Also for the lockdown of the shoe, they chose an interesting path, which I actually really like. It's kind of like a nylon lining right down here and it comes down across and you can see it just folded like origami down and then back up. So I, I mean, I used to be an origami fan, so I can dig that, but I like it simple, but you can see what it is and, and um, it's functional. Then you have a little bit of reinforcement on the lace holes down here. That overlay makes it look like there's a separate tongue and really there is a separate tongue, but you can't really tell because it's stitched all the way down both sides of the shoe from here down, but there is a little bit of a gap right here on the top. So at least we have a little bit of wiggle room and it gives you some kind of feeling of a tongue. The piping of the tongue, you can see that it is a nice little suede material which gives you a nice little feel that they're using different materials. I mean, they could have used the same material here and here probably, but they decided to mix it up. Also, it has the Adidas logo on the back kind of pull tab section here with the pod branding again. And you can see the shoe is actually lined with a nice soft material. And it's not just right there. It actually is the entire shoe that is lined. So, so you do have two layers on the mesh, which is nice that you have that softer layer underneath where your foot rides. And it does have a little bit of an insert for an insole. I like the overall look of the shoe, but let's go ahead and get in some of the pros and cons. We'll start off with the pros. First things first is the style of the shoe. I dig it. I like what Adidas is doing with the shoe. It looks familiar, but it looks a little bit different as well. You don't see a midsole like this very often. And I like the overall look of the shoe in hand and on feet better than just in the uh, visuals that we've seen from pictures. Another pro is that the shoe is really comfortable. It's more comfortable than an NMD in my opinion not as comfortable as an Ultra Boost. This is probably more comfortable than even the Pure Boost. Leave a comment in the comment section if you've tried these on and let us know what is the closest thing that you think comfort wise these are too. I think it's almost like a half 9317 because of the big boat of Boost in the back, but 
not through the entire shoe. Another pro is the mock tongue. I already mentioned it. I like the fact that there is one. I don't like the sloppy look of it. However, it's nice to actually have. Another pro is the huge boost on the heel. It's a crazy amount of boost stuck in that back section and it's definitely kind of a nice little platform to be sitting on. Another pro is the floating pod system. In general, it actually feels really good on feet. You don't really notice it too much and I think that that's the best part. It looks visually kind of stunning, but on feet it just feels like a regular sneaker. So that was kind of a nice achievement that I think that they um, got from designing it this way. I already mentioned this pro, but the upper material is really nice. It's soft and it's a little bit stretchy, but all in all, it feels really nice. Another pro for me personally is the fact that they created another sneaker for lifestyle lifestyle guy over here so i love when they end up creating something innovative and new for the lifestyle side of things um so yeah big big plus for me at least another pro for me is this elastic strip it does add some functional value to your foot having a little bit of stretchy material right here they calibrate it just right at least for my foot where it's not too snug and it feels like it's too stretchy um, so because of that i mean i think that the placement of it is really good adds a little bit of eye pop to the shoe but, uh, but again, it's also functional, which I think is a cool little adjustment because I personally don't like to wear tight laces. So this makes it so I can wear my laces loose, but still have some more lockdown feel. Another pro is a price point at 130, I think is a good thing. It's not too expensive. It's not overly cheap, but $130 is a manageable price in my opinion. Next pro is the traction. The traction is really good on the shoe. It's very significant as you can see. And I like that they added the reinforcements on there and you always have that kind of on the toe but traction is good rubber feels good and that is a plus considering you have other shoes from nike it seems like nike is doing the opposite with react sort of sneakers where there's no traction on the shoes it's a little slippery when it's wet outside and then these you don't really have that problem and the final pro for myself is the fit is good i went true to size it fits perfectly for me and i like that the forefoot of the shoe has this massive platform for your foot to sit on for me, these are a wide foot friendly shoe, but I guess that is where we can go ahead and segue into the cons because like I mentioned, it's wide foot friendly, but this is one section. If you have a really, really wide foot, that's gonna irritate you is that little overlay here of the pod system. So you can see it kind of sticks out and over. And so if you have a really wide foot, that might be really uncomfortable on your foot. For me, I'm lucky it doesn't bug me, but for those that are really, really wide foot, I could see that being a nuisance. Another con, why no boost in the forefoot? Personally, I would have liked to boost in the forefoot. Regardless, this isn't bad, but again, it's just my preference. Personally, you guys might not agree, but that's okay. And the next con is while these look great, in my opinion, I just honestly don't understand the concept. I don't understand the point of POD-S3.1. Uh, what is the S3.1? They don't do a very good job of explaining themselves a lot of the times. Case in point, the NMD for Adidas actually originally stood for Nomad. They didn't really have any sort of story point for that. So the fact of the matter is some of the stuff gets lost in translation. I do like the fact that the POD for point of deflection was very clear in a lot of the marketing that I saw. However, I don't understand the point of it. Like point of deflection makes more sense if you have something that's more for performance, but not really for lifestyle, like point of relaxing and chilling. Like that makes more sense to me. But um, but it is what it is. I think it's a cool concept nonetheless. I'm just getting confused why they're trying to focus on something tech savvy, but for a lifestyle shoe. And also, is it supposed to be just like a really big torsion system or what? Like that's what I get from this big platform down here for stability maybe, but yeah, I don't know. The next con is the colorway on the release pair so far is just meh. In my opinion, some people, this is like, whoa, this is awesome. Great colorway, great model. For me, I'm like, I wish there was another colorway I would have bought instead of these, just because I would have liked to see a different colorway. This is not a bad shoe. It's a comfortable shoe, and I like the little accents of green, and then the lax accents of blue, black, and white. It's a great shoe, but I feel like you could do so much more with this that they can really make this a, a way better looking shoe than the colorway they got. So hopefully they have some new colorways in store for us in the future, or at least give us some really great options to be able to design our own on my adidas so the last con i wanted to mention is just the fact that the release of these just really didn't seem to go very well which is good for those that actually want the shoe but unfortunately for all of the marketing that went into the shoe it seems like the release just came and it went and all the pairs from the release just stayed in the same exact spot unfortunately so question for you guys why haven't you bought these yet are they too much money are they not innovative enough uh, are they too similar to what you already have do you not like the colorways just leave a comment and let me know why you haven't pulled the trigger on these and if you are contemplating and you just haven't decided yet, leave a comment as well and let me know why. Uh, just out of curiosity, I just 
want to know what the consumers are thinking out there. Uh, I personally saw the shoe and I was like, yep, got to get one of those. It seems like a cool shoe. And uh, regardless of any hype or not, I wanted to get these. I saw they had a lot of YouTubers go overseas to uh, be able to design their own. And it looked like a lot of fun. I was super salty that I couldn't actually go to something like that. I personally just would have loved to design my own. Anytime there's boost involved, I don't know why Adidas just doesn't invite me. Same as Teddy, I don't understand. Like both of us have been on boost for a long time now. And uh, crazy that they, uh, they don't really invite those people like us that are diehard fans. At the end of the day though, it's good for me because I can bring you guys an honest review of the shoe and let you guys know my honest thoughts of the shoe because I'm not paid by the brand. So the big question that I asked, is it worth buying in my opinion? I would say as I always do is it depends. If you have the money and you love the Ultra Boost, the NMD, the Pure Boost, any of the other Adidas models out there that are comfort and lifestyle, oriented then this is a really really great alternative and you'll be really surprised when you try these on feet as you will see they're quite comfortable but if you can only buy one pair of sneakers through the entire year and you only have 130 dollars to spend you could probably get some better deals on sneakers that are on sale you can get an adidas ultra boots for probably 130 dollars and i would rather have that shoe than this one personally but there's a lot of adidas deals that are out there you can get for 60 70 80 bucks uh, so it's hard to decide to pay 130 for a new product when you can get last year's model for a lot less and still have a lot of enjoyable comfort in the previous model. But if you're in school and all of your friends have NMDs and Ultra Boost and stuff, and you wanna be different, you wanna have some different, this is one of those shoes that probably not everybody's gonna have. And because of that, it, it adds a little bit of a unique factor, which I, I dig. But as a fan of Adidas Boost products, however, I really do like these in the way that they look, and the way that they fit, the comfort level. I would probably give this like a seven and a half out of 10. Anyways, that's all we have for the video. Hopefully you guys learned something new about the POD S3.1 from Adidas. And if you guys are interested in buying a pair, check the link in the description. Anyway, subscribe if you're new to the channel, notification bell if you wanna be notified of when my videos go live. And thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Uh, at this time, if you guys wanna click the screen, watch any of the other videos and have a great rest of the day. Catch you guys for some more videos very soon. Peace guys.